I guess we can get started. I want to welcome everybody to this edition of Gauge Theory Virtual. I'm very pleased that we have Eoto Mori speaking about instanton invariance for um, all spherical. Oh, actually, I'll read what he says. Uh, for, with rational holonomy parameters and applications to torus knot groups. Um, I'll let him take it away. All right. Thank you for the introduction. I would like to thank the organizers to have uh, this great opportunity of talking. And uh, yeah, and, and the title is uh, Instant Knot Invariance with Rational Holonomy Parameters and Application for Stress Knot Groups. Uh, this is uh, a study uh, related to, to uh, Yamil's gauge theory about the uh, knot complement and, uh, and, and also related to the application of uh, embedded surface in the four manifold in terms of uh, SU2 representation of its uh, fundamental group of the complement of such surface. All right, okay, uh, let, let's begin. And the, and the contents is, 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 uh, is this. The first I uh, described the background of this study. And next uh, I described um, some notions in singular gauge theory and, uh, and free homology from uh, singular gauge theory. And third, uh, I have described S complex and the approach of type invariant for not. And finally, uh, I will describe uh, the sketch of proof of the main theory. Okay, first, uh, I've described uh, background of this study. Okay, so in this talk, uh, we consider a smooth concordance from a uh, smooth concordance between oriented, oriented node. And the concordance S from K to K prime is called ribbon if uh, its projection to uh, zero one segment is a most function without any local maximums. Uh, so, uh, so concordance of like this form is called ribbon. And, and, and usually uh, it is difficult to know when, uh, when uh, there is concordance, when there is a uh, uh, ribbon concordance. Uh, but there is a uh, uh, famous conjecture which is called the slice ribbon conjecture. So if uh, there is a concordance from a knot to any knot, then uh, there is a ribbon concordance from a knot to knot K. And uh, Daimi and Scott ask the following question. Uh, let T, P, Q be a PQ torus knot. Here, uh, P and Q is uh, positive coprime integers. Uh, then uh, for any concordance from torus knot to any knot, is there, uh, is there a ribbon concordance from this torus knot to any knot? So this is a, a version of slice ribbon conjecture to torus knot. And as a evidence, they give the following theorem. Uh, for given concordance S uh, from PQ type torus knot to any knot K, then any torusless SU2 representation of a torus knot group extends to over the concordance complement. Uh, here, okay, so I'll explain the uh, meaning of a torusless SU2 representation. Uh, the the traces S2 representation is a uh, representation of pi one. Is its meridian is conjugate to this matrix in the S2 S2 group. And this uh, restriction uh, happens uh, because, because of their techniques of proof. And uh, okay. Okay, so uh, in fact, uh, there is a theorem by Gordon. Uh, let's S uh, be a uh, ribbon concordance from 
given concordance between two nodes, then uh, any SU2 representation of uh, any SU2 representation of this uh, not uh, this fundamental group of K fundamental group of the complement of K extend over the concordance complement. So uh, Demi and Skeletal theorem give a, uh, give, a, give a part of evidence to uh, their question. So the natural question is, can we drop the traceless condition uh, in Daimler and Skeletal theorem? And the answer is yes. And, and, this, and this is uh, uh, today's main result. Uh, I proved that I proved uh, uh, this theorem. Uh, for any concordance from PQ trust node to any node, then all SU2 representation of the fundamental group of the uh, torus knot group, uh, fundamental group of the complement of torus knot extend over the concordance complement. Okay, so, so okay, and uh, I described the uh, strategy of the proof. The strategy is a singular instant knot homology. And this is uh, roughly speaking, uh, Yamil's gauge theory over the knot complement. And, uh, and such uh, gauge theory provides various uh, knot homology groups. And such uh, instant knot homology group uh, defined by Kronheimer Moroka and they give uh, severe uh, variations, severe versions of instant knot homology groups. And their construction uh, did not contain, uh, their construction does not contain uh, reducibles. And uh, reducible is, uh, reducible uh, cause, uh, reducible is, uh, reducible cause uh, singularity in the configuration space. So, uh, yeah, so, so they cause uh, some technical issues to uh, construct uh, pre homology group in general, uh, but, uh, but uh, we can uh, expel such reducibles in their construction. And Daimi and Skelto defined uh, instant knot homology group uh, with, uh, with reducibles. Uh, so the Kronheim and Wilkins construction is, uses associated gauge theory. And Daimler Skelton's construction is related to uh, SU2 Gaze. And they defined uh, algebra, uh, which is called S complex. And, uh, and their construction also contains uh, real filtration. And it's really defined an uh, instant topology group with rational parameters. And, uh, and the today's strategy is, is uh, construct instant knot homology group, um, which is a combination of these two techniques. Okay, so uh, I've described the uh, uh, singular gauge theory and its uh, fair homology. Okay, uh, so in this talk, uh, the, the, the pair Y and K denotes a pair of oriented inter integral homology three sphere and oriented knot in, in Y. And E is a SU2 bundle with a, a reduction along K. Here, uh, L is a uh, U1 bundle. And fix alpha in uh, zero, uh, zero and uh, one, one over half segment. Okay, and, and singular instant on, and, and the singular connection is roughly speaking, a SU2 connection over the knot complement with 
with such holonomy conditions over here. Such holonomy conditions. Uh, here, uh, nu r is a uh, nu r is a meridian of not k with uh, radius r, and and if it's shrinking uh, its radius or meridian, then the holonomy along this meridian is uh, is limited to this matrix in the SU2. And, and, and the such uh, connection over the not complement is called, and such connections over the not complement are called uh, singular connections with holonomy parameter R, alpha. And there is a gauge group. A uh, gauge group is roughly speaking uh, the bundle automorphism of E uh, with respect uh, which preserve this Reduction. Uh, so this can be interpreted as a map of these pairs. And in singular gauge theory, gauge group has uh, the, co the connected component of gauge group is, is isomorphic to Z plus Z. And gauge group uh, acts the space of singular connections, and we can define a configuration space as a quotient. And there is a, a universal covering space of configuration space. Uh, the universal covering space is uh, as a uh, fiber of Z plus T and the covering transformation is uh, action of connected component. And the covering transformation is given by the action of connected component of the gauge group. And, the, and the over the universal covering space of the configuration space, uh, there is an R-valued function, uh, which is called a uh, chance times function. And the chance times function is given by uh, this formal gradient up to constant. And when, uh, and, for, for, and, why, and for integer homology sphere, and, and oriented knot in Y and, uh, and a fixed holonomy, and a fixed rational holonomy parameter alpha with, uh, which avoids root of Alexander polynomial. Then uh, we can define the instant or not homology group parameterized by alpha as a, a most homology for this transcendent function. Okay, so uh, okay, so next I describe more precise construction of free homology. I first fix uh, ordinary parameter alpha, and we consider the following Novikov ring. Uh, here, uh, the Novikov ring consists of uh, such formal power series, which permits uh, infinite sum to the minus infinite directions, and each coefficient is and, and each coefficients are such Roland polynomial. So uh, in so, so this ring consists of a formal power series of uh, two variables t and lambda. And we and we also consider its subring r alpha, which is uh, defined by uh, which is defined uh, as this. And, 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 the, and, the, and the definition is divided uh, divided by when alpha uh, when alpha is smaller than one over quarter or greater than one over quarter. And here, Grzai alpha is an element which is uh, given by uh, this form. Uh, I, 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 in later, I will describe the geometric meaning of this subring. And for a given triple, yk and alpha, uh, which satisfies this condition, 
uh, we can define it. And, and Z over four credit, Z mod four credit uh, finitely generated uh, alpha, alpha module. Uh, this is a, a fair chain group. Okay, so I describe the construction of the chain complex. The chain complex uh, can be constructed as a, a free homology with local coefficient system. Uh, this is uh, this uh, local coefficient is given by given by uh, given as this for each element in B. Uh, we associate such group, and for each relative homotopy class, we associate uh, such map. Then uh, the free chain complex is given is given by like this. Uh, here the generator is a critical point set. Critical point set of transcendent function. And this coefficient is R alpha, uh, which is given by as this. And differential is uh, defined as this. So differential is uh, defined by counting of modular space of instantons over the cylinder. And here, uh, small g represents, uh, represents the connected component of the modular spaces. And we can uh, consider uh, its homology group. And this denotes its homology group. And its homology group is an invariant for uh, y and k. Okay, so next uh, I described uh, Z cross R by grading structure. Uh, in this construction, we consider the universal covering space of the configuration space. And I, and I described before, and as I described before, uh, the fiber of this universal covering space is Z plus T. And in this construction, we fix uh, each lift, uh, we fix lifts for each generator of the player chain complex. Then uh, we can uh, associate a pair of R values. Uh, here, uh, the holonomy is uh, uh, R lift. lift of the holonomy along longitude of not k. And we modify the construction of the local coefficient system as this. So in this construction, we fix uh, we fix uh, this these pairs of R values. And each monomial in this group corresponds to the lift of generator beta. Okay, so uh, I've described the geometric meaning of the coefficient ring, R alpha. Uh, the connected components of the gauge group are indexed by the two integers, k and l. A k is called instanton number. And l is called monopole number.
and uh, uh, for fixed lift of generator, uh, <laughs> beta tilde uh, associate to this monomial in the uh, local coefficient system. And it's, uh, okay, so we, okay, and GKL denotes a gauge transformation uh, which is contained in the connected component indexed by two integers k and l. And uh, this generator, okay, and, and this uh, other lift of uh, generator corresponds to this monomial in the local coefficient system. And uh, yeah, so if we fix, if we fix uh, the critical point of the transcendence functional beta, then uh, it's fiber over the uh, universal covering space is uh, is generated by the covering transformation of z plus d. So the picture is like this, and uh, and each uh, lift. Uh, Shifted by, and there is action of connected component of gauge group, and uh, each uh, represent representative of <laughs> beta uh, shifted by the action of gauge group, action of the connected component of the gauge group, and its direction, and it has two directions uh, related to k and l. So the yeah, so the so the picture is like this. And the action of one zero component, so k is one and l is zero component of the gauge group, correspond to the action of lambda in in our uh, local coefficient system. And this is uh, so. And this operation is called adding instant. And action of zero one, so the k is zero and l is one case. And this action corresponds to the action of uh, psi alpha. And this, uh, and this is called uh, adding monopole. Yeah, so this is a, a geometric meaning of the local coefficient. And using such local coefficient, uh, we can define uh, z times r by grading. The step one, uh, we associate uh, two gradings for each fixed lift of the generator. The Z grading is given by the index of the ASD operator associated to uh, the instanton of a uh, instanton of like of this form. And the R grading of beta tilde is given by the transcendence function. Uh, this is an R byte function in our case. And uh, yeah, and the R grading is given by the value transcendent function. And the step two, uh, we can uh, extend this construction to any monomials in our coefficient. So monomial of this form, for the monomial of this form, uh, we define uh, Z grading as this. And this is uh, related to the index of the ASD operator associated to uh, this uh, instant. And the monomial of this form, uh, we can extend its R grading as this. And this is uh, related to, and, and, and this is geometrically uh, related to the, the value of transcendence function. And uh, R grading extends to any element of the, uh, this form. And for such form, uh, it defined R grading as this. So this measures the top term of the formal power series. And for zero element, uh, we define uh, the R grading is minus infinity. Yeah, so in summary, the uh, lifts of the generator beta tilde can be depicted as this. 
there is a two two kind of grading R grading degree R and degree Z. And this uh, and this and uh, uh, all rifts of beta all rift of beta uh, has a form of has a form like uh, lattice. And and these are uh, uh, shifted by uh, actions of Z plus D. And taking these changes, uh, we can uh, introduce uh, other generators of this covering transformation, Z of this form and U. Z is a uh, action which preserves uh, Z grading. So this is an uh, uh, action of Z. And there is also the action of U, uh, which changes degree Z by uh, plus minus four. So this is the action of U. And the action of Z and U generate all lifts of flat connections. And uh, <laughs> using uh, this picture, we can uh, describe the uh, differential of the free chain complex as this. A uh, differential gives a map between a local coefficient and, uh, and, 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 this, and, the, and this group uh, associ associated to the lifts of the generator. And differential is uh, defined by counting instantons of other cylinder uh, with respect to its uh, connected component. And uh, this is uh, geometric, in, ge in geometric meaning, uh, differential can be interpreted as this. So, okay. So we consider a lift of beta and a lift of beta prime. And, uh, and we also fix its, uh, its lift beta tilde, and beta tilde prime. Then uh, differential is uh, counting instantons uh, like this. Uh, counting pass. Counting pass between the the set of lifts of two generators. And we, and we features uh, appropriate lifts of the generator, beta tilde prime, uh, then we can, uh, and then, then we can write the differential as this form. Okay, uh, okay, so next I, uh, Okay, so the next slide described is complex and pressure free invariant. Uh, is there any questions? Okay. Okay, so our next slide described S complex and the pressure type invariant. The first I uh, described the formal aspects of S complex, which is introduced by Dami and Scalato. Uh, and it consists of definition of S complex and morphism S complex and the chain homotopy equivalence of S complex. And the definition of S complex is given as this. Uh, C, C and D is a graded chain complex over the integral domain R. Then a uh, C tilde, then, uh, uh, then a pair of C tilde and D tilde is called S complex if C tilde has uh, this form and D tilde has this form. Here, each components are given by like this uh, with uh, these relations. And there is a notion of morphism of S complex. Uh, let uh, C tilde and C tilde prime be two S complex with these, 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 these decompositions. Then uh, a chain map M tilde uh, is called an 
a smorphism if it has the form like this. Uh, yeah, each components are given by like this. And there is also notion of uh, chain homotopy of a smorphism. Uh, let me consider two smorphism, m tilde and m tilde prime. Then uh, m tilde and m tilde prime are called s chain homotopic if there is a degree one map uh, such that uh, these two, uh, this relation and uh, there is a degree one map with this relation and this form. And two S complex, C tilde and C tilde prime are called S chain homotopy equivalent if there is, if there are two S morphism uh, such that S chain homotopy to and such that this uh, composition uh, is chain how to pick to identity. And formally, uh, we can associate an integer for each S complex. Uh, this is called a flush of type invariant. And the flush of type invariant is formally uh, characterized by uh, as this. If, uh, H of C tilde is positive. Uh, there is a uh, there is a cycle of cycle with this condition. And if flush uh, of invariant is positive k, uh, then k is given by this. And this condition means uh, measuring the height of uh, height of this operation. So sending a cycle data by premap and finally apply delta bar. Now and uh, uh, for negative h, uh, this is uh, uh, given by yeah. Okay. For negative h, uh, this is given by this condition. And this is uh, characterized. Uh, this is characterized, uh, approach of type invariant. And uh, we can uh, think this <laughs> property as a definition of approach of type invariant. Okay, uh, so for an oriented node in integer homology three sphere and rational holomy parameter, with, with this condition, we can associate S complex over the coefficient R alpha. Then uh, each component of differentials of S complex are uh, counting instantons over the cylinder, like this form. So geometrically, we can uh, realize S complex. The statement is uh, let uh, k in y be an oriented knot in an oriented homology three sphere and alpha be a rational parameter with this condition. Then uh, S complex, uh, then we can associate S complex for triples y, k, and alpha uh, as this. Uh, here, each summand of S complex is given by the fair chain complex. Uh, defined by singular instantons and differentials. Yeah, and differentials is given by counting instantons of a cylinder. And moreover, its S chain homotopy type is an invariant for uh, this pair. Invariant for this pair. And we can uh, this, and we can define flourish of not invariant for y and k parameterized by alpha by this definition. And and we call this as uh, this invariant flourish of not invariant for y k with uh, holomorphic parameter alpha. And we can show that if 
uh, k and k prime are concordant with uh, this condition. So alpha avoids uh, root of Alexander polynomial of both nodes, then uh, each alpha is an invariant of these two nodes. And we can uh, define the cobordism maps between uh, S complex. An S morphism is induced from a cobordism of pairs W and S with an appropriate condition. And uh, this condition is called negative definite cobordism. Uh, first, we assume that uh, S is smoothly embedded cobordism, surface cobordism, and consider SU2 bundle over W. And, uh, and let AL be a reducible connection on reducible connection with respect to this decomposition of E. Then we call AL minimal reducibles if it minimizes index of the ASD operator. And we can associate two values to the connection on connection over the uh, cobordism of pairs, uh, like, like this. Uh, kappa is given by uh, Chan Simon's integral, and this is called energy. And the new is uh, given by the integral of the integral of the uh, first one one component of uh, curvature form. Okay, and uh, we can define uh, the negative uh, definite cobordism. Uh, let W and S be a cobordism of pairs. Uh, then W and S is called negative definite pair if it satisfies the following condition. The first is uh, B1 of B1 and B plus of W is zero. And for minimal reducible AL, the index of associate SD operator is minus one. And we can define the counting of minimal reducibles as this. Here, the power of, the power of lambda is related to the energy of uh, minimal reducibles. And the power of t, and the power of t is related to the integral, integral of this form. And uh, each sign is related to the orientation Uh, it's a uh, sign of this sign uh, related to the orientation of reducibles. So eta alpha is a uh, sign counting with these two weights. And, uh, and the condition is this counting is non zero in a coefficient. Yeah, and, uh, and if, w, if uh, the pair of if a cobordism of pairs W and S is, if the pair, uh, this pair satisfies these conditions, uh, this is called negative definite pair. Okay, and the next, uh, we, uh, we consider the case when S is normally, S is immersed in W with normal crossings. Uh, then we can uh, consider the cobordism of pairs obtained by blowing up at double points of S. So in this sphere, uh, S bar is uh, embedded surface. And we can extend the definition of negative definite cobordism to uh, pair to cobordism of pairs with S is uh, immersed. Uh, w and S is called negative definite cobordism if its blow up is a negative definite cobordism. Okay, uh, so th uh, this is an example of negative definite pair. Uh, first is uh, S is embedded case. W is a uh, is uh, cylinder of this cylinder like this. 
And uh, if S uh, satisfies this condition, here G is genus of S, and sigma alpha of K and sigma alpha K prime, is, uh, these are two standard signature of two nodes. Then W and S is a negative definite coordinate. This condition arises by the uh, index reason. And the second is an uh, example of negative definite quadism, which S is you must consider the crossing change of node. Then uh, we can form a quadism of pairs, which S is immersed with a positive double point. And if uh, two choice and living signature of these two nodes k plus and k minus are equal, then this covalism pair is negative definite. And if a negative definite covalism are given, uh, we can associate isomorphism. And isomorphism and each component of isomorphism. Uh, defined by, oh, sorry, each components of isomorphism are defined by counting instantons of uh, the pair of uh, counting instantons on the commodities of pairs. Yeah, and uh, the component of, like of delta one is given by the counting instanton is uh, is. Uh, limiting limiting flat connection, uh, one of the limiting flat connection is reducible. And similarly, uh, delta two is given by, uh, and delta two is associated to the instant on all, like this form, and mu is given by uh, these informations here. Gamma is an embedded group, and this uh, gives a quadrimensional two divisor. And eta is, uh, given by counting of reduce, minimal reducibles over the cobaltism. And these are a property of uh, S-complex and the flush of not invariant uh, for instant not homology group with uh, general holonomy parameter. And yeah, okay, so here we, uh, we use this uh, convention of Torsten Levin signature. Here, v, VK is a uh, Zeifeld surface of K, of not K. The first is uh, we can show that uh, for a not in S3 and for all, all but finitely many alpha, uh, the flow of not invariant leads to the Torsten Levin signature. And the second, uh, for all but finitely many holonomy parameter alpha, there is a integer, there is a positive integer such that uh, S complex of K is S chain to be equivalent to S complex of connected sum of uh, two bridge torus knot. Here, rash N is given by two standard signature. So, as an invariant, uh, S complex and the flow of not invariant for uh, general holonomy parameter alpha is not stronger than signature, but uh, we can associate uh, such classical not invariant to the information of instantons over the commodities. May I ask a question? Okay. Uh, sorry, it's Danny. Uh, it's, uh, so what are the, when you say all but finitely many alpha, are the alphas simply the ones where that you have roots of the Alexander polynomial, or is there some other kind of exceptions? Like what, 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 when, when does this not true? Like uh, the alphas yeah, where it's not yeah, true. First, uh, we cannot define uh, this invariant when yeah, alpha yeah. is root of Alexander polynomial. And, and in the proof of this theorem, uh, we can, uh, we have to consider the crossing change of not K. And, and we also avoid uh, all root of Alexander polynomials of uh, not, not 
of such all, knot. All, 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 the, all the knots that you have. All the knot, which arise as a crossing change. I see. Yeah. And but but this uh, little uh, finitely finitely many consists of finitely many points. So I see. And it's the yeah. same thing in, in the second theorem also. Yeah, the second is also the same. So does I'm a little does that just in terms of like classical knot theory, is that also saying something about the uh, Levine Tristram signatures are the same as are determined to, except for finitely many things by the uh, by this just the signature? I think. In other words, uh, so you said something. I mean, the, you know, the I, I, so H alpha is determined by the by that chain complex, right? Or the yes. S. So, so this seems to say that something or other about the behavior of the signature away from finitely many points. The, the signature function of, as a function of alpha. Mm -hmm. So, was that classically known? Like yeah, that's, I, that's a theorem yeah. you could just say about 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 signatures in knot uh, theory. Uh, there is uh, a various uh, description of Tristan Devin signature. Yeah. Uh, for, for example, in gauge theory context, uh, we can uh, define Tristan Devin signature as a counting of uh, SU2 flat connection over the knot complement yeah. by the Herald's work. Uh, but uh, this is not, not classically known, I, I think. Yeah, so, so did, this, I'm just it just seems like something we should have we should have known. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, then can you can you repeat again what it, so you're you're, well, well, you're saying that may, maybe um, so uh, what Hayato is saying is that this um, this sort of Froshoff invariant where it's defined. So of course, just even to define it, we have to avoid finitely many. Uh, uh, we have to avoid avoid. Certain points on the uh, um, where the Alexander polynomial is is zero. Um, right. So okay, so we look there, and then for all but finitely many uh, of of the remaining points, we're having that the uh, the H invariant is the t is the same as the signature. So which is an interesting point. And uh -huh. then the second theorem is saying that. On the other hand, the, the, this, in fact, this whole chain complex is, is, is simply determined by the, the signature itself, right? That was that, that capital N that appears there. So I'm trying to put, right. so it seems to me if you put those together, that, that says that the Tristram Levine signature is determined, uh, away from finitely many values, is determined by the signature. Now, I think that in the second theorem, it's also the signature. Everything I think all both theorems are in terms of Levin Tristam signature. No, but N is N is what oh, oh N is the yeah, yeah. Tristram Levine is, signature. Yeah. Oh, oh I sorry, I misread yeah. that. I thought that just said simply the signature itself. It's Levin signature. Yeah. Okay, so oh okay. So you're actually saying so in some sense the H invariant is almost essentially determining the the the, the chain complex. Okay, right. all right, now I understand. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Ali, also for the question. Sure, yeah. yeah, thank you. Yeah, actually, uh, I think it's a very interesting problem. Uh, for these, pro these properties uh, still holds for finitely many alpha, which executed in, in this theorem. And, and, I, I, and I believe this is uh, true. And what, uh, for the proof, uh, we have to compare uh, S complex. Uh, we have to, we have to uh, compare the S chain holder B type of, to S complex with, with, with uh, this two parameter across. And to compare this to S complex, uh, we have to uh, consider the family of moduli spaces parameterized by con continuous family of moduli space parameterized by alpha. Yeah, so technically we have to uh, we have to need more analysis, uh, which is described in Kuhnheimer and Moroka's 
paper in the 90s. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I, I believe uh, th this uh, statement as the horse. Okay, so finally, uh, we uh, so finally I described the, the sketch of proof of the main theory. Okay, so uh, here uh, we consider the PQ type truss knot and uh, R of uh, and, uh, and this denotes the uh, character variety of the character variety of the uh, character variety of the con yeah uh, defined by conjugacy class of SE2 representations these fundamental groups. And there is a, a subset uh, indexed by alpha, which is which consists of conjugacy class of representation with this uh, property. Uh, this, uh, this is uh, geometrically. Yeah, yeah, this is uh, realized by intersection of uh, intersection of uh, Character variety of image to the pure case and uh, and the vertical vertical slice is alpha and the theorem by Herald is uh, there are a very defined sign counting yeah, if these these uh, these intersections are transversal then there is a uh, sign counting of irreducible part of this character variety and uh, and this sign counting is uh, coincide with minus half of the and living signature. And the special property for trust node is the absolute counting of this character variety is equal to minus half of the and living signature. And this holds uh, when alpha avoids the root of Alexander polynomial. And, uh, and using the yeah, using the structure theory of S complex, then uh, Euler characteristic. Then we can show that uh, Euler characteristic of chain complex is equal to half of two standard signature. So combine these two facts, uh, we can conclude that uh, where chain group, this where chain group is only supported, is supported only on odd graded part. So this uh, chain group for Torus knot has this form. Moreover, uh, using uh, property of Proshoff knot invariant, uh, then we can uh, completely determine the structure of uh, singular not homology group for trust knot. So generator has these forms. So uh, so all generators are contained in all the graded parts and these rank are given by this. And using uh, such a uh, special structure for uh, chain complex for trust knot, uh, we can uh, show this lemma. If S is a uh, given self concordance between trust knot, then uh, there is a dense subset of zero, uh, 1 over 2 uh, segment. And if uh, R is large enough, uh, here, uh, I did not explain that. Uh, Using R filtration, we can uh, we can define uh, subcomplex. Uh, <laughs> defined by R gradings. And there are induced commodity map. On filtered chain complex, 
And, uh, and this uh, induced quantity map is an isomorphism. Yeah, for this proof, uh, we essentially use the structure of uh, structure of uh, chain complex for trust node, and uh, z times r by gradings. And using this lemma, uh, the induced commodity map has the has form like this. And here, each uh, and uh, all diagonal blocks. Are non zero because this is isomorphism. And the diagonal blocks are defined by counting uh, flat connections over the, not over the uh, concordance complement. So this shows that all flat connections, all flat connection or, or all flat connection or complement of torus not extends to the concordance complement. And finally, we use the limiting argument and the double of any concordance from torus knot to k uh, or main theorem can be shown. That's all. That's all. Uh, thank you for listening. Okay. Are there other other questions? So. Just a question about the very last step. Mm -hmm. So is the point somehow that you just, if I have a concordance from the torus knot to your knot K, we just double it to get a concordance from the torus knot to itself? Mm -hmm. And then and then use this principle? Is that is that somehow what you're saying? Or, or is there something else going on? Um, yeah. Uh, the, the, Oh, main theorem follows from uh, this lemma because yeah, if we consider concordance from torus node to n node k, then we can uh, taking its double. Okay, good. Yeah, that, that's what I was asking. If that was what you did. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Very nice. Maybe uh, also, are there some other classes of knots besides torus knots where this <laughs> would work? Uh, yeah, I think that's interesting question. Uh, the, I mean, how about the uh, sums of torus knots? Would yeah. Also... yeah, the essential property is uh, it's whether this counting holds or not. Yeah, uh -huh. this, yeah, absolute counting of character variety indexed by alpha is equal to uh, minus half of living to some signature. And I think Corinne and Steer uh, conjecture that such property uh, still holds for any algebraic node. Uh -huh. Yes, so, so I think that that's one of the possibility, the extension of this theorem. Of course, the, their conjecture might have been Related to I don't know is it Fintischel Stern conjecture about you know relating Cassin invariant to signature to the signature of the Milner fiber, uh -huh. which uh, is true for many many examples, but in the end is not always true. So maybe mm -hmm. somehow that's that's maybe that this conjecture also fails for the same reason. Yeah, actually, uh, this uh, statement. Can be shown by the statement by Pinter Stan's uh, result for Briscoe homology Swiss sphere. Yeah. Yeah. They're taking cyclic branch covering around Torres node, we can. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I think maybe Nikolai would know better, but yeah. I think it's not true that this is true for all links of singularities. Uh, what is true exactly? Uh, the, well, the, you know, Fintischel and Stern showed for Briscoe and spheres that the that the Kasten invariant is, I don't know, one eighth or minus an eighth or something yes. like this. One eighth um, signature of the Milner fiber, yes. Yeah, but but that's, but somehow in the end, I don't know. Um, uh, no, the conjecture. Or somebody showed that this was not always true for some, you know, very uh, complicated singularity. It's a long story, but 
Nemeti and Nikolaevsky tried to prove it for all rational homologies here links, uh, which are links of singularities. Yeah. And that generalized conjecture was disproved for those very complicated examples. But for integral homology sphere links, it's, I think it's true, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if it was, uh, it, it's true at least for almost everything. So Chris and I actually look into this question of, you know, like what not satisfy this property it seems to be some property which is more general, which is stronger than being an LS space knot. Uh, like there are, initially I, we thought that it's gonna be exactly the same thing as having lens space surgery, but it's not the same thing. Um, so there are some knots like, um, to some twisted torus knots satisfy this property. Um, some cabling of torus knots, iterated torus knots satisfy this property. In fact, the case of iterated torus knots can be understood quite explicitly. Um, yeah, I mean, like, but what are exactly those knots? Uh, I don't, it, yeah, I don't think we even have like some well formulated question for that. Well formulated conjecture. Yeah, uh, actually, Koki. Uh, found uh, the counter example in the iterated torus knot, which uh, yeah, it does not satisfy this relation. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I think we should thank Kyoto again. It was a really lovely talk. It's, uh, rather a detailed construction. Thank you. <laughs>